A tripod is a must-carry item for me on all of my camping trips. Not only do I use it to film myself, but I also find it absolutely essential for all of my long exposures and night shots. A mini tripod like the Gorilla Pod or the Ultra Pod is just too limiting for my compositions. I can never frame up the shots just the way I want it. I came across the Coleman Neomax 260, which is a lightweight but full length tripod that I bought for just £35. I've been using this tripod on all of my camping and hiking trips over the past two years, and here's my review and experience with the Coleman Neomax 260 from a hiker's perspective. The bare tripod by itself weighs 500 grams. The mini ball head weighs 94 grams. The extension pole weighs 74 grams. And the carabiner with the quarter inch ring screw weighs 12 grams. Although I have lost the original and replaced it with some generic ones, so the original carabiner and screw could have been a little heavier or a little lighter. The total weight for all the pieces comes in at just 680 grams. With the legs fully extended, the base tripod without the extension pole sits at 100 centimeters away from the ground. If you were to add the extension pole on top of that, the camera can be lifted 130 centimeters away from the ground. I usually don't use the extension pole because I find 100 centimeters to be more than enough for 95% of my shots and it's simply more stable without the extension pole. Each leg of the tripod has five sections. The legs are also reversible, meaning you can fold them up to make the tripod smaller for storage in your backpack. To reverse the legs up, all you have to do is press in the silver button on the side of each leg, which will override the default locked-in angle and allow you to fold the legs up. The mini ball head that comes with the tripod offers free and smooth movement and has a vertical slot for downward facing shots or shooting in portrait without using an L bracket. The ball head is tightened and loosened with one single knob and there is an additional knob for the 360 degree panner on top of the ball head. There's also no quick release so you have to screw in your camera every time. Despite its miniature size and being so lightweight, the mini ball head is able to hold a compact camera like my Sony RX100 as well as my Michael Four Third system perfectly. I imagine the ball head would be perfectly adequate for most ultralight photography setups, unless you're using the heaviest bodies and the heaviest lenses. Just as an example, here's my Mamiya 645, which is a medium format camera weighing about 1.5 kilograms being placed on the ball head and the tripod. I wouldn't recommend a setup this heavy to go with the tripod, but as you can see, the ball head and the tripod holds up just fine. Even though the Neomax is a lightweight tripod, it's not an unstable tripod by any means. It holds up just fine in the wind and it has a carabiner on the bottom that you can hook your bag onto for additional stability if you need it. That being said, I don't tend to use the extension pole with the tripod because I find with the extension pole, any small wobbles or movements is magnified even further if you do use it. I love how quick and easy the tripod is to deploy. One quick twist clockwise will unlock all the segments of the leg and allow for the sections to extend. And once you're happy with the length, simply twist the lock again anti-clockwise to lock the height in. This mechanism is super quick and even faster than flip locks, as this has one lock for all five sections of the leg instead of five separate locks for five separate sections. I find this amazing for hiking as it allows me to minimize the time that I'm stopping and allows me to set up for my shots quickly and move on. The locking mechanism, even though it's convenient, does have some downsides. Because the locking mechanism is responsible for the whole leg and not just a section, it's difficult to only use the thicker, sturdier parts of the leg instead of the thinner ones toward the bottom if I wanted to partially extend the tripod. That being said, in my experience, this hasn't been a limiting factor because by only partially extending the tripod, it makes the tripod naturally more sturdy anyway. But more importantly, it's crucial that you double and triple check that the legs are indeed locked, because it's not so obvious with the twist lock mechanism. During my Kangoms trip last year, I didn't fully lock in one of the legs because I was in a rush and I didn't check. And that resulted in the leg collapsing when I started walking away from the camera, 
which ended up with my RX100 in the water. This may not be as big an issue if you use it for just photography and you don't leave your camera unattended, but if you do leave your camera unattended on this tripod, I would triple check every single time to make sure the same thing doesn't happen to you. The Coleman Neomax 260 is about 400 to 500 grams heavier than some of the mini tripods out there, but I would not hesitate to pick this tripod every single time over a mini tripod because I'm not compromising on my compositions when it comes to photography. I love the combination of how little the tripod weighs and how affordable it is. It's one of the cheapest and lightest full-size tripod out there. I would wholeheartedly recommend the Coleman Neomax 260 to any hikers who are looking for a lightweight full-size tripod for their photography. That being said, if you do buy the tripod and use it, please, please make sure and double check that the legs are locked in before you leave your camera unattended. That just about wraps up my review of the Coleman Neomax 260 tripod. If you have any questions that I haven't addressed in the video, please leave a comment down in the description below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you all for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.